What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at a competition RDA from Vapors Cloud called the X1. So, pick this RDA up at my local vape shop, Cloud9 in Steven City. So if you guys are in there, definitely check them out. They are very knowledgeable. They did kind of hook me up with this and, you know, I did, I mean, I didn't hook me up with it. I mean, I paid for it, but, you know, they did... I did go in there and I asked him, you know, what's the newest thing you got? He gave me an option of two things and I chose this one. So he did help me out on that. Uh, other than that, guys, I know I did hit the 800 subscriber mark and I definitely want to do a giveaway for you guys. I'm just, I had to order three things. So three people will win on this giveaway. Um, I just didn't, uh... I haven't gotten it in yet, so I haven't really been able to do the giveaway. I don't want to do the giveaway and then have you guys kind of like waiting around for your product because as soon as I do the giveaway, I want to hurry up and ship it out for you guys. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that I have reached 800 subscribers and I'm trying so hard to get to that big 1,000. Also, sorry that I'm not talking normal like I usually do. Um, I have been a little bit under the weather, been having terrible migraines lately, and just haven't been really being myself. So hopefully this video is not too boring for you guys, and if it is, I'm sorry. So let me talk about this RDA. It is a 24 millimeter RDA. It has 2.5 millimeter post holes using the Phillips head screws. It is a four post RDA and it is actually a really good RDA. So without further ado, I say we get down to the nitty and the gritty, this RDA. All right guys, here's the packaging. The Vapor Cloud X1 or Vapors Cloud X1 competition RDA comes in. Pretty nice little packaging, magnetic door here. And inside is your RDA. Now, here we are with extra goodies. Now, your extra goodies consist of a copper center post, extra O-rings, some extra screws, uh, insulators, blue screwdriver, and a. they gave you some coils here. Um, that about wraps it up in there. So, get that. And here is your X1. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So, got a chuff here, Delrin, dual o ringed, pretty thick, so you definitely don't have to worry about your lips getting hot when you're blowing clouds. Anyways, uh, as you guys can see, four posts, copper center pin here. Let me pop this thing on here and we'll be able to pop it off. Here is your barrel. Pretty thick piece of stainless steel there. It does have this lip here, that way it will rest on your deck. And here is the deck, guys. Nice deep juice well. Airflow comes in here, comes up as your coils sit right on the right above that. Double O ring. Could have made these a little bit bigger. They are a little bit loose when they're juiced up and you're on the run. Now, let me show you guys how to exchange your center post here. So, first thing you want to do here. Get your handy dandy screwdriver. And I've got the wrong screwdriver. Ha! to keep unscrewing that set that to the side do you have a peak insulator in here pull that out now it's kind of a pain to pull them out so what I do is I'll open this get the little blue screwdriver for you guys who don't love the blue screwdriver stick it right in there Kind of give it a little push and it'll pop right out. 
as you can see it is a square that so it is pretty snug definitely snug all right now let me get the copper center post here what you want to do is the little ridged area you want to push that up on, onto it and it resting just like that then take your build deck plop that right in there now take your screw and your insulator take that part have that put the screw in here so it kind of cradles around the uh, the 510 adapter here insert and screw her down make sure it's nice and tight where you don't get no wobble and there you go there's your copper center post well now I feel perfectly comfortable backing out putting a build on this juicing her up going back and vaping on it guys let's do it all right guys that was the nitty and the gritty of the x1 competition RDA by vapors cloud now pros and my cons with this device Pros are, it's 24 millimeters, you got plenty of room to build on. Love the two, the 2.5 millimeter post holes, it makes building so much easy. You just got more room for wicking, all that. I love the Phillips head screws, they haven't really backed out on me, they haven't clipped my leads. Also, I really, really enjoy the dense flavor I get off of this. It's just such a warm, dense vape whenever you're hitting on it. It's kind of like... The Kennedy version 1 airflow with a little bit more restriction. You definitely get good clouds off of this RDA. Great flavor from it just because of that density. Just feels like the flavor is right in your face. So that is definitely a pro for me. Now, this con is not really, a, it's kind of a subjective con. I wish that the O-rings on it would have been a little bit tighter on it on the base of the REA just because it kind of does when it's juiced up it does kind of tend to be a little loose pops off real easy adjust real easy I'm sorry I didn't show you guys an up close personal about the airflow adjustable eh, adjustable airflow I just did not think about it. it just didn't dong on me but all you do is pretty much you just dong you just turn your little turn it there is no single coil option so got a dual coil it i mean if you want you can single coil it but you're gonna have a lot more airflow so keep that in mind uh i love all the goodies that it comes with vapors cloud has always been good at giving you extra parts to it to make it more convenient for you i'm not big into copper but other people are so it's what it is guys so that right there is the nitty and the gritty of the x1 rda by vapors cloud now, please leave a like, a comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for the Nitty and the Gritty.